guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about red cockroaches. Or I guess it's cockroaches, I've probably been pronouncing it wrong my whole life. So, this is a movie that had come across my radar because it was like a Vinegar Syndrome release with Saturn's Core, who is one of my favorite partner labels. I didn't know anything about it, but my buddy had just gotten married, a Facebook friend, and he was selling off some of his collection to save some money, I guess, because he was out of work. And I said, how much? And he said, $13 with free shipping. Brand new. So I blind bought it. Watched it in pieces because last night I didn't have time to stay up. And finished it today and then I watched the short film as well that is on the disc. This was not what I expected. This is a... I don't want to tell you what the what the main point of the story is because it ruins kind of everything. But if I don't tell you it, it doesn't sound that interesting. So it's a post-apocalyptic future or semi-post-apocalyptic with all these radiated red cockroaches that are going around and people, I guess, are getting sick. And there's this guy that works at a bar and him and his girlfriend break up. And then he runs into this thin, very, I guess, either Jewish, Middle Eastern-y looking woman who loses a tooth at the train station. He picks up the tooth, and then the woman happens to come to his apartment to try and rent one of his rooms, because I guess he's subletting his apartment. And their interactions are strange. She has a French accent. More starts to come out about who she is and what she's there for. And it sort of just gets a little intense, kind of crazy. And again, it's set in this futuristic atmosphere, which I don't think came into play as much as I would have liked it to. I don't, I almost don't see why that was part of it. Um, it's an interesting movie, but it's way more, I guess, serious and slower than I had anticipated. I watch a lot of shot on video garbage that's like goofy, schlocky, comedic type horror. And I like that stuff, especially cyberpunk stuff like that, like No Resistance. Um, you know, Saturn's Core put out a couple Scooter McRae movies. I really like those. Charles Pinion, I like his stuff. It's very weird. This is weird because of the story, but the movie itself didn't seem that weird. I can't explain it. Um, and again, it, it's more of like a drama, romantic drama thing set in the future. It was okay. I didn't love it. I'm glad I got it cheap. I will eventually rewatch it and then decide on whether or not I'm going to keep it. I'm pretty sure this came out in 2003. It was made for $2,000. And I will tell you, it is shot well. It looks very good for a, a shot on video movie. Um, the scenery and, and the angles, all that is, is it's very well done. Uh, it takes place in New York City. And it's, yeah, it says here it was filmed with a $2,000 budget with a Canon GL1 camcorder uh, by visionary Cuban born director Miguel Coyula. Um, it has a commentary track with him and the actors, an archival featurette, a, another featurette, deleted scenes, a review, trailers, reversible cover art, English and Spanish subtitles, and the movie is in English, and it has a short film that's like 45 or 47 minutes called Light Valve. That is like a silent movie, but it's in Spanish with English subtitles hard-coded, so there's times where the character, and that's also post-apocalyptic, There's the character's like typing emails and it comes out in Spanish, but then the subtitles are in English. I didn't love that one. I thought it was interesting visually, but not very interesting overall. I can't really recommend Red Cockroaches. If you want to be slightly kind of grossed out and you like futuristic settings, you might dig it. Definitely has an indie feel to it. I could see independent moviegoers enjoying it. It just wasn't the 
genre that I had kind of hoped it would be. I have Damn Zelvis coming on the way, which looks more my speed, but I may not like that either. I guess we'll see. But I like that shot on video aesthetic. So let me know, guys, what you thought of Red Cockroaches. I thought it was okay. Again, a little too serious. Um, some interesting parts. Shot well. You know, lots of good. But also, just didn't do it for me fully. But I want to hear your thoughts if you know about it. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.